So I'm here in my backyard on a slightly wet Sunday afternoon and I'm going to do an experiment. We're always told that we should use ultra clear glass um, when making light boards. But I'm just questioning whether we really need to. I've got a piece of glass here that was an old window. I got it for free, 900 by 900, probably not the exact dimensions that I want. But I should be able to test this. It's not ultra clear but it's not tinted either. So you can see from the edge, it has got a slight green tinge. Um, the theory is that that's going to stop the light penetrating. So I'm just going to tape on some LED lights. So I've just got some cheap lights, and I'm literally just going to tape them on uh, with some tape, and tape to my studio, plug her in, and with the camera, see if I can adjust the camera settings like I normally would, uh, and see how good it is. I suspect it's going to be good enough. And the exciting thing about that is what that means is that we don't have to be buying ultra clear glass. We can be buying pool, uh, glass pool fencing, you know, like that glass balustrading that's everywhere at the moment. And you can pick up a 1200 by 900, so 900 high, 1200 wide piece for 30 Australian dollars. So super, super cheap. And the cool thing is that the vertical posts uh, are designed for that glass balustrading. So I'm going to check this to see if it works, and if it does, it's going to open up a wide range of possibilities. Isn't that right, Humphrey? Okay, so the next job obviously is to test this in a dark room with the backdrop and the, the lights on the talent. So that's off and that's on. Off, on, off, on. Next job is to try it in the studio. So the question is, does it work? So this is not lit. Okay, and now this is lit. So it certainly works, but at the end of the day, what I always say is it's, it's, it's really about the, the, um, the camera settings. So this is on automatic at the moment. Now I'm just gonna change it onto manual so this is what it looks like on manual. I have an ISO of 400. Okay, can you see this wobbling around because it's not secured properly. Uh, this is just a basic test. ISO of 400. Uh, the shutter speed of 1 30th of a second. Um, or, or what it looks like is it's just um, on the Canon DSLR. Just looks like 30 and we have an aperture of 10 um, and, and, and that's what it looks like. So I reckon that that is perfectly acceptable. So again, it comes down to the camera settings. So um, it, can you just use any random piece of glass providing it's not tinted? Well, I think you can. I reckon I'd be very happy with this.